<laughs> the third form of marriage I'm going to look at is the mutually exploitative form of marriage. Mutually exploitative form of marriage. The first thing you will notice in this marriage is a large age difference. The man can be older, far older than the young girl. In that situation, the girl is usually very beautiful, very attractive, sometimes even very popular, either as film stars, sports women, beauty queens, whatever. And then there is an older rich man who has a fantasy that he has not fulfilled. Men walk around with fantasies of the kind of women they want to sleep with. In fact, I think the average man thinks about sex whether 15 times a day. They, they, they have fantasies that they were not able to fulfill when they were younger and poorer. So they now have money, they now have power, they now have fame, and so they want to marry this kind of young, beautiful girl that was in their mind in those days. And that's why lecturers sleep with young girls, not necessarily because of anything. It's the fantasy of what they could not get when they were younger. Now, the next thing, in the other direction, you will see a young man who might not have much, who has a fantasy of wealth, living a good life, living in Europe, living on a look for a sugar mommy to marry. And there is the, 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 there's a lingering mother effect, Oedipal complex effect of boys loving their mothers. So enough, he now sees his mother in this older woman. And a lot of European old ladies fall for this. The European old lady has a fantasy of the prowess, the narcology, the narcability nac nac of the African male. And so because of narcology and the narcability of an African male that she has in her mind. And this thing stems from the time of slavery in America, where black strong males were cornered by their madams for narcology because of their narcability. So this, this, these two individuals, the boy needs the money, the woman needs the narcology, and so there is mutual exploitation in their psychology. Oyibo requete, oyibo. Narcology, narcability, and psychology. Oyibo requete. So they are mutually exploiting themselves. The young man is thinking that the white woman might write a will. Or the young black man with a black sugar mommy widow is thinking that he will enjoy go a good life just waiting until the madam will pass away so that he can subsequently have children. In fact, some of them are so reckless, they don't care whether they have children or not. And the women just enjoy it. They enjoy, they enjoy their old age. Then the young girl is enjoying her life, driving the kind of car she would not have driven, living in the kind of house she would not have lived in with her young boyfriend before, and then cornering things to take care of, settle her family, settle her family. The mind of that young girl is not with that man, it's with her family. She's just fulfilling the fantasy of that man while the man is fulfilling the fantasy of the young girl. They are mutually deceptive people making use of each other. But they're having fun as long for them as long as they're having fun. If the man has enough money, has enough children, has an other wives, he doesn't care. Even if he's the only girl he's marrying, has given him children, 
Some of the men are widowers. They have lost their first wives that they suffered with that might not be as sophisticated and as attractive as this younger one. They are, that's a mutually um, exploitative marriage. But surprisingly, it is very enjoyable for the participants. You see a president marrying his former teacher where his stepchildren are older than him. It's just there's a fantasy he's fulfilling. And the old woman is repackaging herself as first lady. You know, this marriage thing is, is very deep. And unless you understand it, you can't handle it, you can't grip it. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles A. Poki, the area grandfather, the only certified madman that does not behave normally. God bless you. Send me a message on plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three to join my WhatsApp mentorship group and to join my online seminar on the first of April. We do that every Easter Monday for the past twenty something years. Every Easter Monday, and. Um, you would um, join, I will send you the flyer on how to register online if you are away from the vicinity of Ogili and Wari and Delta State and the surrounding states. And if you are in the diaspora, promises to be a great time. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki.